Hello friends so today i am going to show you how to send an email uh, using python uh, for that i am going to create one uh, jupyter notebook python jupyter notebook mm. so i am going to create one uh, python jupyter notebook uh, and for the name of that is sending an email using python okay uh, for that uh, uh for that i have to install one package uh, whose name is secure smtp lib uh, for uh, i'm going to install that package uh, using uh, pip keyword pip uh, install secure smtp lib okay after running the code um, the output is requirement already satisfied which means uh, i have already installed this uh, package i am going to import this package using import using import keyword import smtp lib okay after that i am going to create one uh, object of the the function smtp lib which is c o n n and, and my object name is con, con for uh, for connection c o n n con smtp lib dot smtp okay uh, uh, smtp all in capital uh, it is a function and there is mainly two argument for this function one is a email provider and domain server name and second one is a uh, uh, part number okay mm, for in this video i am going to show you only for gmail but i will give you a snapshot of all email provider domain name server okay and uh, one well, but uh, for for gmail uh, it is a smtp dot gmail dot com okay and the port number is 587 port is a uh, uh, just like of uh, inter part of an internet address which is using for sending data sending files and all okay after running this code after running this speed of uh, piece of code i can see this is successfully uh, executed and i'm going to check the type of this object con okay uh, it is uh, what is this printing smtp lib dot smtp it is totally fine uh, after that i am going to check my connection is successfully established or not for that i am going to print hello which is e hello in python e hello e h l o e hello you can see 250 250 is a representation of uh, the code for success uh, moving on i am going to um, implement the encryption for that uh, i am sending a mail to my friend which is totally secure for uh, encryption i am going to run the uh, function uh, which is a start start tls yeah start tls you can see the output is 220 uh, output is 220 which means our server is ready to start i can um, my, my server is totally ready uh, uh, moving on i am going to log in i am going to log in my user id and password and the argument will be and the first argument will be user id and second argument will be password so i am going to use my alternative gmail account which is a and second argument will be password okay don't try to hack my email i am going to change this password uh, by completion of this video uh, by executing this code you can see it is uh, accepted which means my email id and password is totally correct okay now moving on i am going to run the important function which is a send mail okay send mail is a function which is mainly have many argument but uh, for this video i am going to show you how to send only plain text message uh, actually i am going to show you a i will show you how to send attachment gif png file and many more data file but uh, in this video i am going to show you only plain text uh, for that uh, there is a three argument the first argument is from 
and second argument is a two okay uh, first one is uh, we the person which will send the email and second one the person which will receive and uh, the third argument will be the subject the body of email okay the form is the uh, eea 58514 email dot com and uh, second one will also be a email address which is a receiver email address and using receiver email address okay after that i'm going to use the third argument uh, which is a subject okay which is a subject okay subject you can write any subject like a uh, okay sending an email using python okay sending an email using python after that i have used two backslash n which is mainly used for new line okay uh, moving on new line for that i am using dear vikash okay after that new line new line thanks for your video on this topic okay access in access in okay this is completely fine after running this piece of code you can see this uh, this is successfully executed okay after after that i uh, you can uh, after that you can see the this message by opening my gmail so i am going to check yeah it is fine sending an email using python dear vikash thanks for your video on this topic okay it is completely fine now i am going to end my session by using con dot quit okay you can see is uh, there is a 221 it is a representation of closing connection or it is representing that your session is ended okay after that i am already promised you i am going to show you a snapshot of snapshot of all email provider domain server name for that uh, i am going to read an image for that uh, i have to import one package which is a image ipython dot display sorry i'm going to import image function okay the ca i is capital in image okay and uh, i'm using this function and passing argument as a png image which is already saved in my directory okay image provider dot png so okay you can see there are various email provider and their respective server domain name okay uh, for gmail it is smtp.gmail.com and uh, for outlook hotmail yahoo mail at&t verizon but you have and thus you have to change the uh, smtp domain uh, server name and uh, Uh, for the AT and T and Verizon, the port number is different, just like a four four sixty five. Port number is nothing but is a part of internet address for sending data. Okay, thanks for watching my video.